Hey everyone, Tracy at Mystically Divine Tarot. How's everyone today? I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's pick a card reading. Today we are going to be asking spirit, how do they feel? So how does a person on your mind feel about you at this time? Please remember to like this video and also to subscribe if you haven't already. I greatly appreciate it. I appreciate you all being here as well. For anyone interested in booking private readings, the link to my website will be at the end of each section of this video and also in the description box below, okay? Um, there's also um, decks and merchandise that can be purchased on the website as well, okay? All of my created decks, things like that. All right, guys, so let's get started for crystal number one. We have the Amethyst Crystal. And this card here. For crystal number two, we have the Rose Quartz Crystal. And this card here. These cards are pulled from the Sacred Destiny um, deck, just so you all know. And then this for crystal number three, we have the Amethyst Heart today with this card here, okay? So choose which one resonates with you most. If you're drawn to more than one, that's perfectly fine as well, okay? Choose whichever resonates with you and I will see you in your reading. If you resonated with crystal number one, the Amethyst Crystal, and this card here, this will be your reading, okay? Today we're asking spirit, how does your person feel? So for you, we have delight. So you make them very happy. Um, whoever this person is on your mind, you make them very happy. Uh, they feel a lot toward you is what I'm feeling as well. You make them feel a lot. What else? For crystal number one, how does this person feel? Wow, look at this. Son, I told you, you make them very happy. Um, yeah, you make them extremely happy here. This is inner child happiness, bliss. Um, you know, really feeling um, like you're a dream come true here. Beautiful. What else? For crystal number one, this is beautiful energy so far. How does this person feel? Ten of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. So I feel like it's been a slow process in this connection um, to release burdens maybe from the past. Someone here possibly holding on to something from the past. Um, you or this person. Um, but definitely a slow process in re relieving those burdens and releasing them and moving forward. So this could have been like kind of a slow start here is what I'm feeling. But you make them extremely happy. Beautiful. Let's see what else. Two of Wands. Yeah, there's a choice that needs to be made. Planning next steps. So yeah, a choice to release these burdens from the past. Leave the past behind um, is what I'm feeling here. So if you or this person has something to release from the past, I feel like this is saying here that it's time now because you really make this person happy. Yeah, look at this. Another one here. Chariot. Choosing which direction to go in. Um, I feel like this is saying here, this person really wants to choose you in this connection is what I'm feeling with that chariot. They're wanting to rush right in here because you really make their heart smile. You really make their heart happy. You're like a dream come true. Let's see Knight of Pentacles. Why the Knight of Pentacles here? Why this Knight of Pentacles? Wow. Yeah. So it has been very slow in manifesting this connection. Um, it's been a process is what I'm feeling here. Okay. Of course, only take what resonates for you and leave the rest behind. Um, these are general readings. So a lot of different energy does come through. That card flew away. Let's see where it went to. <laughs> Can I get it? Give me one second. Okay. That one flew kind of in an awkward place. Um, the world. Wow. Yeah. Completion of this cycle. Beautiful. Yeah. So this cycle of burden, whatever was burdening one or both of you here, needing to come to an end here. They're feeling like um, it's time here to make that choice to manifest this connection. Um, I feel like it has been slow for sure. Six of Cups. Yeah. Looking back at the past. Okay. Um, really again making that choice to move past the past here uh releasing the burdens from the past and moving forward 
Um, this could be this person having something in their life that they were holding on to. Um, moving slowly toward their happiness, toward you here. Um, but really kind of like at that place where it's time to make a choice here. You know, with this two of um, wands. Wanting to make that choice here. Uh, an actual conscious decision to move past it is what I'm feeling here. Let's see what else. Because you really do bring delight to this person. You really make them happy. So what I feel is that they might have been holding on to something or you were here. Um, and the love that you feel and the happiness that you feel because of this person is kind of like making, you know, whoever is stuck in that past or having to release the burdens here. It's making them really want to make that choice to move forward. Yeah, look at this. Wow, the richness within. They're feeling very deeply here. Very deeply, okay? Lots of feelings here this person is experiencing for you. Um, lots of deep emotion as well. Yeah, lots of deep emotion. So I feel with that message there, they could even like cry, right? <laughs> Is what I'm feeling. Like maybe because things are so slow, they're really wanting to move forward. I'm feeling someone here like getting emotional about it is what I'm feeling. Because they feel so deeply. Hmm. Let's see what else we have. Mischief. Yeah, mischief and synchronicity. Wow. Okay. So, yeah, they're feeling like a little bit playful toward you. Um, really wanting to have a good time with you here with the mischief card. And synchronicity. They could be getting signs and synchronicities here with the synchronicity card pointing them in your direction. Or you could be getting signs and synchronicities pointing you in their direction. Um, something of that nature there. Let's see for crystal number one. How does this person feel about crystal number one? We have... Mm, okay, so this beautiful dove here. Uh, you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. So through these through the process of releasing these burdens, okay, a blessing will be revealed, okay, is what I'm feeling here. So it's almost like that moment of release brings about this happiness, you know, so it's, it's like that transitional stage that happens when we decide, you know, consciously decide to move past something and bring something new in. Yeah, forgive. So this could be um, them wanting you to forgive them if they've been slow moving or very slow in this connection um, in releasing something here. Mm. Well, this could be you even wanting to wanting their forgiveness. Full moon in Pisces. So could be a Pisces involved here. Let's see what else. How does this person feel? How does crystal number one's person feel? We got two. Mm, yeah, they have good intentions. Okay, a merry motive. Their intentions are really good. Even if they're not making um, forward strides quickly, their intentions are pure is what I'm feeling here. And healing the heart. Yeah, so there's a little bit of healing having to go on here with this releasing of the burdens here. Okay, there's definitely a healing element coming through there. You've also healed this person's heart, I'm hearing, as well. So they could have had a broken heart in the past, and you've really helped them to, um, you know, move past it and heal themselves. Stand still, yeah. So they're feeling like things are kind of slow. Like I said, they're feeling like things have kind of come to a, a stop here or very slow. Um, wanting to move forward with that chariot here. What else? How are they feeling about crystal? Yeah, memories. There's that looking back at the past again, okay? Yeah, this person I feel is really reflecting on the past. Um, maybe how you made them feel or something like that. They're really um, looking back at that. Um, and also I feel making 
choices based on this, based on the past, okay? So if this is something painful from their past, I feel like they're really taking that time to work through it, okay? To really get to the bottom of whatever the issue is here, the burden, trying to get to the bottom of, you know, why maybe they've held on to it and haven't released it yet or something like that. What else for crystal number one? How does this person feel? Happy, happy. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we've had lots of happiness come out here. Delight, sun card, happy, happy. You make them feel very happy. You really do. And the richness within. They're feeling a lot of love and, you know, they're feeling happy when they think about you, when they, you know, maybe even when they're with you, if you spend time with this person, you make them feel good, you know, you make them feel good inside. Absolutely. Beautiful. What else? For crystal number one, how does this person feel? With crystal number one, harmony. Yeah, see, they feel like you both want the same things is what I'm getting there. They feel like you both um, are, are aspiring to accomplish the same things is what I'm feeling. They feel like this could be a very harmonious connection. Um, both wanting the same thing, striving to achieve the same things. This is beautiful. What else for crystal number one? How does this person feel? Love is all around you. Yeah. Feeling a lot of love. They feel loved by you as well. I did feel like your love here. I got the message that you helped heal their heart, right? So yeah, they're feeling your love here. Um, all around them. I want to get one more of these. I don't know why, but I'm feeling like I need to. Let's get one more. You are limitless. Yeah. So again, feeling in harmony, right? Feeling like you both want the same things. You are limitless. Feeling like you both could accomplish so, so much together. Beautiful. Let's see what else here. For crystal number one, how does this person feel? How does this person feel? Hold your vision. Yeah, really? So you are their vision for the future is what I'm getting. Really holding on to that as well. You are their vision for the future. A dream come true. Where did I hear that? Right here? I, I heard that somewhere. A dream come true. Was it, I think it was with the sun card. Um, yeah, they, they, you're like their dream person. So they're trying to hold that vision in their mind here and, and when they do i feel like it makes them really joyous like it makes them smile like i have this smile on my face like this person just thinks of you and they smile they could have a beautiful smile as well boat receiving what you need progression arriving moving on closure issues there's that closure issue someone here might have had something that they were holding on to right but now they're moving on it's time they received what they want to receive what they deserve here which is this happiness is what i feel so it's a choice it's a conscious choice to release the burdens of the past here how else? Crystal number one's person. How else are they feeling, please? How else is crystal number one's person feeling? Wow. Okay. So we have two that flew out very fancy. We have flirt and let your friends help you. Okay. So let your friends help you through this. Um, ask for and accept support from others, this card says, okay? So if you're feeling any sort of way about the situation, don't be afraid to ask for help and flirt. There's definitely a lighthearted energy between you. We have delight and happiness and bliss here. Um, could be coming in flirty as well, really um, trying to lighten things up if they've been you know stuck or stagnant or slow here what else retreat wanting to take you away ha ah, this is about travel as well wanting to take you away retreat together wanting some time alone is what i'm getting there so they're wanting to spend some quality time with you um they're feeling really pulled to um spend that time yeah, it makes them happy. Being with you makes them happy. So they just want more happiness in their life is what I'm feeling here. What else for Crystal? Number one, how does this person feel? 
How does this person feel for crystal number one, please? We have passion. It won't fall out, but there it is. Okay. We have passion. Um, so yeah, there's definitely a lot of desire. Um, really feeling a lot. Like I said, um, really wanting to be physical as well here is what I'm getting there. Really wanting that physical touch. You make this person feel really good, really good um, on the inside here. Yeah, breakup. Oh, breakup. Yeah, this could be um, what the, whatever this was here, these burdens of the past, right? It could be about releasing an old relationship here. Or even, it doesn't even mean that the person is in a relationship. It could just be the residual energy from that relationship, okay? Like the energy between the two not being clear, okay? So really healing from it and releasing it. Mm, definitely could be a situation there. Yeah, death and rebirth. Yeah, there's that. And, and we have the, the world card completion of a cycle. This cycle is having to end in order for a new cycle to begin. Okay, this could have been the reason for this slow movement as well. Someone could have been in the healing process here. How else does crystal number one's person feel, please? How else do they feel? Intimacy. Yeah, I told you they're really wanting that. They want deep talk. They want to spend time with you with the retreat card. They definitely want to spend intimate time with you. So getting to know you uh, on a deeper level and the physical intimacy as well is very much in this person's energy. How does crystal number one's person feel, please? How does crystal number one's person feel? Romance and divine feminine. Wow. They look at you as like the empress here. They really hold, again, dream come true here, okay? Uh, romance and divine feminine isn't about gender. So we're not necessarily talking about a girl here or, um, or a boy It doesn't or a man, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, divine feminine is the energy, okay? So the divine feminine energy here, uh, this person really being drawn to that divine feminine within. Um, within you okay so rising in your power being loving and nurturing this person is really drawn to that um, wanting to romance you as well here wanting to show you um, just how much they feel okay let's see let's get more we're gonna get some message cards out here curious to see what comes out if this is them or if this is you here let's see what the message cards what would this person want to say to crystal number one what does this person want to say to crystal number one? Wow, I want to be with you forever. So yeah, they're feeling very deeply. Like I said, the richness within is a very deep, uh, what I was getting there was a very deep, deep love here. A deep emotional connection here. Could be a deep soul connection as well. Oh my goodness. As I said that, <laughs> the card flipped over. I seen what it was, but it fell on the floor. As I said, deep soul connection, this card came out <laughs> and it is you are my twin flame. Now I have to get it off the floor. Okay, whoops, I almost knocked over my coffee in the process. You are my twin flame. So again, deep soul connection, this person is feeling, they might be feeling like you are their twin flame here. We do have the six of cups. That's also about a deep soul connection, possible um, twin flame soulmate type reunion card as well. What else would this person want to say to crystal number one? There are definitely a lot of twin flames who watch my channel for sure. It comes out so, so much now. We will be together soon, my love. Yeah, so here's this slowness wanting to speed it up and be together soon here. Crystal number one, what would, the, what would this person want to say? And of course, only you will know if this person is your twin flame. I usually do say that every single time, um, just so you know. Um, you'll know if it is, okay? Uh, don't let any reading tell you that it is. Um, you know, only you deep inside would know that, okay? Um, but Spirit is sending us this card for a reason here. So it could be a deep soul connection um, or a twin flame here. I am so afraid you will stop loving me. So they're feeling a little bit worried about this slowness is what I'm feeling here. They're feeling a little bit like you might move on from them uh, and stop loving them. 
All right, let's see what else. Gonna get some more message cards here from this deck. How does this, per what would this person wanna say to crystal number one? How do they feel? Looking in your eyes feels like looking in the mirror. Mm, yeah, see, so they really do think you're the twin flame. They feel like that soul recognition there with you. What else would this person want to say to crystal number one? I haven't told you how much I love you. So for some of you out there, this person may not have even expressed their, the depth of their feelings here. How much I love you. So they might have hinted that they do or said that they do, but not really told you how deep they feel. Okay, that richness within, like I said, it was a very deep love coming through there. Lots of emotion. I want to live my truth with you. Wow. Okay. So really wanting to live in authenticity with you. Um, wanting to spend forever here as well. Let's see what else. How does this person feel about crystal number one? I am leaving my past where it belongs. So this is them is what I'm feeling here. I am leaving my past where it belongs. Okay. Uh, really working through to get to that point is what I'm feeling here. They're really working hard to get there. Um, the slowness I feel is getting to this person. Um, it might be getting to you as well. Like you might be feeling a little bit impatient or something like that. But I feel like this person um, really wanting that forward movement. We will be together soon, my love. And this little bit of fear of you stopping loving them. So I feel like it's affecting them equally is what I feel here. The time factor, being slow about it, slow manifestation here, okay? Um, I feel like it's definitely kind of affecting them as well. They're afraid to lose you here. All right, crystal number one, that is what I have for you for today. I hope this reading was helpful. If it was, please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next reading. If you resonated with crystal number two, the rose quartz crystal, and this card here, this will be your reading, okay? Today we're asking spirit, how do they feel? So how does this person feel about you? Um, with the flow card coming out, I felt like this person is really interested in seeing where this goes is what I was getting. Really feeling like things are flowing well um, and seeing where this goes is what I was getting. So let's see with the tarot for crystal number two, please. Yeah, look at this. Planting seeds of growth for the future. Yeah, really putting work into this. I feel like you're both equally giving and taking here is what I'm feeling with this connection here. There's some sort of flow going on. It could be even just communication. Wow, King of Cups. Yeah, there's a lot of love here. Beautiful, unconditional love here. Being extremely patient and kind to one another as well is what I'm feeling. They feel like... Your love is, is big, okay? I feel like you, you give a lot is what I'm feeling here. They feel that. Hmm, what else? Ooh, Ten of Pentacles, wow. Ooh, we really wanting a lot with you. Really wanting to build, yeah. I mean, that's what I was feeling here. Like they're wanting to see where this goes. They feel like it can go far. Yeah, they're feeling Ten of Pentacles. I mean, happily ever after type energy, very stable energy of, you know, love, commitment, things like that. Beautiful. Wow. What else for crystal number two? This is beautiful energy. I'm liking this so far. Six of Swords. Yeah, wanting to move forward. Again, something to do with moving forward here. Wanting to, and at the bottom, look at this, Nine of Cups. Yeah, and I noticed it, so I'm pulling it. I feel like moving forward toward wish fulfillment. Really flowing here, both of you together. Again, for some of you I was picking up, it could even be just communication picking up or something. Communication something about communication, but definitely forward moving, wanting to move forward toward wish fulfillment. You make this person's wishes come true. They feel very deeply, this person. Nine of Cups, King of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. I mean, this is, and they're wanting to put work in with the Seven of Pentacles as well. Feeling like things are flowing nicely. Hermit mode, yeah. Oh, so you might be, yeah, you might both be single right now kind of seeing where it goes, right? Yeah, you could be single, walking your own path, 
both putting a lot of energy into this though is what I'm feeling again time and attention things like that maybe you just haven't made it official or something of that nature and again always always take only what resonates for you leave the rest behind these are general readings so this is meant for someone here okay what else we have the chariot yeah see wanting to move forward king of cups wanting to rush right in here someone really loving you here really this person feels very deeply and they feel your love in return is what i'm feeling um wanting to move forward and choose that new path Ten of Pentacles. What is this about here for crystal number two? I just saw the King of Wands. Is he coming out? Yeah, King of Wands. Feeling a lot of passion. Okay. Yeah, feeling very passionate. Knowing what the, this person knows what they want. And I feel like this is saying here they want this with you. Um, Ten of Pentacles. They're really trying to see where this will go because they're feeling a lot. They're feeling a lot of passion, desire, love um and stability they feel like this could be a very um stable type of connection commitment things like that six of swords like you really um yeah you really light this person up is what i'm feeling two of wands is that choice right wanting to make this choice with the chariot to move forward six of swords about forward movement nine of cups wish fulfillment definitely wanting to move forward and make that choice toward wish fulfillment right wanting to take it to the next level is what i feel this person is feeling they are going with the flow though so i don't feel like they're going to rush or push the issue i think they're trying to maybe get to know you a little bit better maybe or maybe your wishes maybe they're trying to see you know what your wishes are for the future maybe asking questions things like that really trying to get to know you on a deeper level is what i'm feeling here let's see what else for crystal number two yeah be still a while this is okay yeah this is when you're walking this lone path here you're both in this space of flow because you're probably really going inward here and really trying to make choices for yourself for the future so you're really going inward about it and seeing what your inner guidance system is telling you about the situation um i feel both of you doing that here mm, for sure with this coming out whoops with this coming out here um i feel like both of you are doing this here and this inner work this could be inner work here as well planting those seeds for growth really working on self-development here trust this person trusts you um a lot here there's a lot of trust between you they trust in what they're feeling as well they trust that this is real mm, they trust that this is real that's a nice message let's see what else for crystal number two please what's going on here how do they feel how does this person feel about crystal number two please we have Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. So I don't see any of that here. Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. So if there is, this could be just for some of you here. If there's something here about this connection that either you know they're criticizing you or you're criticizing them here what i feel this is saying is spirit is reminding us that once you love and accept each other as you are things will shift to the positive here but i'm not picking that up very heavily here for that that must just be for some of you here where there could be some sort of this could be why there's some inner work going on yeah for some of you as well there could be things like maybe you're trying to meditate on certain things about the connection but criticizing each other won't get you very far here this is basically saying this has to be uh the king of cups here is about unconditional love right so this is about absolutely unconditionally loving one another um 
loving and accepting each other as they are is what this said here. So this could also be um, saying that this is someone here that feels that they can love and accept you just as you are as well, okay? Practice gratitude. So yeah, they're really grateful for this connection is what I'm feeling here. Um, they may even say like out loud, you know, I'm so grateful to have met crystal number two or so grateful to be um, in a connection or in a relationship with crystal number two, you know, like they might actually say it out loud. Um, last quarter moon in Sagittarius just stuck out to me there on that card. So there could be a Sagittarius here. Call of the Muse, calling a man and roots of abundance. Wow. Yeah. See, I told you stability. This person has stability on the mind, on the heart here. They're really wanting a stable long-term connection is what I'm feeling. And I feel like they're trying to call you in with their energy. They're trying to put a lot into it so you know that they're real, that this is real, that this is happening, that they feel what they feel, okay? So they're really trying to um, show you, not only say, they're trying to show you um, energetically here um, what they're feeling is what I'm feeling here. They're trying to absolutely show you in some way. Okay, what else? We have delight. So delight, yeah, you bring them happiness. Okay, I mean, wish fulfillment, nine of cups. You're bringing this person a lot of happiness. They feel happy when they're around you. They feel happy when they talk to you um, or encounter you in any way. They really, um, they light up here. King of Wands, very, very passionate, knowing what they want and going for it, right? Really um, focused on it as well. Mm, very strong. Couple of kings out here. So really uh, kind of like a mature energy coming through, breaking free. So breaking free, something about this choice. Breaking free of, oh, maybe it's the thoughts thoughts breaking free of some sort of thoughts here hmm they feel they feel like maybe hmm, not good enough hmm this person might want all these things but feel like you're kind of too good for them or something like that they feel like there's something to do with their thoughts here breaking free of some negative thought patterns or something Hmm, they're kind of stuck. What I'm getting here, they're a little bit stuck in their head about it. This could be the reason why, too, there's this need for healing. They, they might, like, overthink or something coming through here with this Breaking Free card. There's some element of overthinking here. They could also maybe feel like you for because he's a general. So this could be them feeling like you maybe overthink things. Maybe that's what the criticizing is about. You know, like someone saying like stop overthinking it or you know, like stop overthinking it. You're, you know, stressing yourself out or, you know, whatever. Maybe that's kind of like misconstrued as like criticism, even though it's really not. It's just kind of like trying to bring awareness to the fact that overthinking really won't get you anywhere. You can't change uh, the past or the future, you know? I mean, you can only focus on the present moment. There's a need for breaking free of some sort of pattern here. Unfinished symphony, yeah. So if this is a situation that kind of ended at some point, like maybe you were connected and then disconnected at some point, I feel like this is saying here that they're feeling like this there's unfinished business. They want to come back in. Um, and this might just be for some of you. But I'm feeling like for some of you, there's someone here that may have been connected and then disconnected. Might have chosen to walk your own paths or something like that. Hmm. But they're wanting to reconnect here. They know that there's unfinished business. They want to resolve this unfinished business. What else for crystal number two? Crystal number two. How does this person feel? Acceptance. Yeah. Release control of the situation. Yeah. There's that flow. 
I told you, they're just releasing. The, so they're feeling like in flow. Like I said, they're releasing control of the situation. They're just kind of going with the flow and seeing where things go. There could have been something here in the past here with that criticizing card and the breaking free. There definitely could have been some sort of overthinking going on or, or something about the connection here. Kind of maybe chose to walk your own paths for a little while here. Um, and maybe it's starting to come back together or something here. Because I was feeling like a start of maybe communication somewhere here. Um, so maybe things are starting to flow more easily in the communication department. And now they're kind of just in the energy of flow. They're wanting to see where it goes. They are wanting to build is what I'm feeling. This person is definitely um, laser focused on you is what I feel here with the King of Wands and Ten of Pentacles and Roots of Abundance. I mean, laser focused on you for the future, okay? You really make this person happy like you do is what I'm feeling here. Appreciate this moment. See, living in the moment. Exactly. Flow. Okay. Appreciate this moment. Do not worry about the past and do not worry about the future. Live for the now and see where it goes. Okay. The divine won't lead you wrong here. Actually, let me get one more of these out. How does this person feel? How does this person feel, please, for crystal number two? Simple acts of kindness. Wanting to do something for you. They're wanting to come forward with some sort of act of kindness. They're wanting to show kindness to you. Okay. A simple act of kindness. Yeah. So they're wanting to do something for you. Okay. Um, whatever that may be. Um, but definitely wanting to do something here. Um, kind toward you. All right, what else? Let's get more. Actually, no, let me put that over there. I don't know why I put it over here, but I'll put them together. Let's see what else for crystal number two, please. How does this person feel, please? How does this person feel for crystal number two? We have... Be bold and make the first move. So they're wanting to come forward and make the first move here. Um... Yeah, they're feeling, I feel courageous enough to do so with this King of Wands. They're feeling strong enough to do so. Um, when the, when, I feel like when they feel like ready, if this is them here having to kind of release some thought patterns or something, they might be waiting till they feel more confident in themselves here. Ascending. Yeah, look at this. Transcending. So you're both raising your vibration here and transcending obstacles. Okay, definitely um, inner work going on here with the hermit mode. I was feeling that here with the hermit card and also the be still a while. So preparing for union. So this is getting your inner selves to a higher vibration into a vibration of love, right? And allowing that flow in, right? When, when it flows to you and through you, okay? Definitely raising the vibration here. This person, um, definitely working on that. And I feel like with that King of Wands, like I said, I am feeling like they want to be bold and make that first move. They're feeling like confident enough to do so. What else for crystal number two, please? How does this person feel? Release your ex. That could be what breaking free is about too then for some of you. Um, release your ex and codependency came out together. So yeah, there could be uh, someone here that was attached um, to someone else at some point here. And it could even be just energetically, okay? The time has come to clear your energy breaking free that could be what those thought patterns are about right they could have been stuck in a codependent type situation at some point and they're really having trouble working through releasing that energy from this ex person and it is kind of coming out right where i was going to put those so i feel like that spirit's way of letting me know that those are connected here breaking free of limiting um past energy that's kind of limiting your future Okay, that could be you or them there that's needing to kind of clear the energy um, of the mind. Like I said, growth. Yeah, so they're really feeling a lot of growth with you. Um, you know, really 
again, I was feeling building. They just want to build something strong and solid here uh, with you and this connection. They're really looking to build, you know, big things together. Mm, wishes coming true. There's definitely forward movement showing up here. So I do feel with the Six of Swords there. Um, and that flow energy will allow that movement to happen more easily. There won't be resistance to it. Let's see what else. How does this person feel for crystal number two? Desire. Yeah, lots of desire for you. Really feeling passionate. Um, connection, chemistry, things like that. Oop, this one flew out. Divine Feminine. So Divine Feminine, this could be a Twin Flame connection. Only you would know that. But this person, either way, if it's not, they are viewing you as a Divine Feminine. As someone who has really risen in their own power. Look at this. Stability. Yeah, they're feeling they want this stability with you for sure. I mean, there's so many cards of it here. Roots of Abundance, Ten of Pentacles, and now the Stability card as well. What else are they feeling for crystal third party? Yeah, see, so someone here, I'm even going to put it over here because I definitely feel like it's connected here to someone. There is a third party. Um, again, might not be in the physical. It could just be energetically is what I'm getting here. Could be just an energetic um, connection that's still kind of remaining there, you know. And I'm going to put it over there because I feel like it's connected over there with that release your ex and that breaking free. Again, could be either or as well. You or them here. Let's see what else for crystal number two. Whoa, imminent and communication. Ah, I told you. Yeah. So communication and imminent. Yeah, it's coming. Communication about this situation is coming. Um, they're really wanting to come in with passion and show you, show you what they feel. You know, not just say it, show you is what I'm feeling here. Um, an imminent coming through, meaning it's probably going to happen soon here is what I'm feeling here. And I'll get one more since third party's over here. <laughs> I'll get one more to fill up that space over there for crystal number. Yeah, no, now it's bound. Yeah, see, bound. All right, let's get another one <laughs> since this one's going to bound is again. It's those binding thoughts here, those breaking free of those thought patterns from a third party overthinking. Yeah, I already said this earlier, a level of overthinking. Someone was telling somebody you're overthinking it. Stop overthinking. I feel like that's connected um, to it could be this situation here, but I also feel like it's connected to that criticizing one another. I feel like someone was telling the other um, you're overthinking it. You know, don't overthink it. Kind of live in the moment. And then we have for the last card here, which weird how those I wanted to put over there. And now reconciliation is coming out. Yeah, so unfinished symphony. I felt that there, that this could be someone that you would be reconciling with, coming back together with. There could have been a moment where you took a pause, kind of walked your own path. How else are they feeling? I dream about you every night. Okay, some message cards out. They dream about you every night. This person, let's see what else. My heart is broken. Wow. So yeah, feeling heartbroken that you're not together here is what I'm feeling. They really want this is what I'm feeling. There's a lot of deep love here. Um, Nine of Cups, King of Cups. Um, yeah, King of Wands are very passionate as well. Please remember all the good memories we share and I want to spend time with you. So really wanting you to... Um, maybe get out of, if this is you stuck in overthinking or stuck in a past situation, they're really wanting you to remember the good times you shared. Um, even if it's them that's stuck in that situation, they're still wanting you to remember the good times you shared, okay? Um, and they want to spend time with you. So they're really thinking about, you know, coming together and spending some time. Okay, and let's get some final message cards out. What would this person, crystal number two's person, want to say? How do they feel? Crystal number two's person, how do they feel, please? I'm the one who wants to be with you. Yeah, so leave the past behind. Um, if this is you having to leave the past behind, this person wants you to know that they are the one who wants to be with you here. I told you they really want to be. They really want to come forward here. Um, move forward. Make that conscious choice here. Towards stability. 
I want to wake up in your arms every day. Yeah, long term, wanting to do this every day, wanting to be, again, this happily ever after, Ten of Pentacles, for sure. What else for crystal number two? No one makes me feel the way you do. Yeah, they feel your love uh, very deeply here. And they, they, no one's ever made them feel the way that you do here. So while they're alone here in this, this space here, hermit mode, um, I got two out here that flipped. Um, while they're in this space of be still a while hermit mode, because I did feel like both of you were kind of walking your lone paths at some point here. I feel like this person is missing you very much if they're not with you. You know, their heart is broken over it. They really want to come forward. Um, please be patient and don't forget about the love we share. Well, wow, that's weird. <laughs> don't forget about you said, well, this one here says, please remember all the good memories we share, right? Really wanting you to remember the memories. This one is saying, remember all the love, okay? So feel from your heart is what I feel this is saying. Remember the memories and make that feel from your heart here, okay? And my soul longs to be near your soul. So, you know, possibly a deep soul connection here um, as well, right? So, all right, guys. I mean, we did have Divine Feminine out as well. So you could be uh, very, very um, soul connected with this person. They feel it deeply. You feel it deeply. Um, there's something here needing healing, either an ex situation or energetic situation um, of the mind here needing to break free of that. But um, really wanting to make that conscious choice to move forward here beautiful energy. I hope this reading was helpful for you, Crystal number two. If it was, please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next reading. If you resonated with Crystal number three, the Amethyst Heart, and this card here, this will be your reading, okay? Today we are going to ask Spirit, how do they feel, right? So how does your person feel about you? pleasure so you bring this person a lot of pleasure in their life you you know even thoughts of you i'm feeling here um even thoughts of you are making this person very happy you bring them a lot of joy let's see what the tarot for crystal number three please how does this person feel about crystal number three seven of pentacles wow so they're wanting to put work in. They're wanting to um, plant seeds for growth with you. Focusing on the long term just stuck out to me there as well on that card. So they're focused on the long term, wanting to put work in with you. We have a flipper here. The death card. So something having to end here. Feeling like something has to end before something can begin. Could be putting the work into maybe ending something in their life here. Okay, or this could be you as well. Keep that in mind. Six of Pentacles, really wanting to reciprocate. Feeling like you give a lot is what I'm feeling here as well, okay? Feeling like you give a lot to them, um, energetically even. And they're wanting to give back, okay? They're feeling like the need to give back, but something having to end there. Let's see, Ace of Swords. Wow, clarity. So yeah, new beginning here. There's a clarity here in this person about a new beginning. They're really wanting to start something new here. Um, they've had some sort of an epiphany moment or a realization to bring some sort of clarity. Let's see what the clarifiers, seven of pentacles, why the seven of pentacles here for crystal number three, please. Why the seven of pentacles, the moon. Mm. So a lot of things were hidden before is what I'm feeling. There could have been some hidden feelings. There could have been hidden emotions hmm. yeah they're really wanting to express those things so they're really wanting to express something to you that you might not have known before okay whatever that means for you okay keep in mind these are general readings that's pretty specific so <laughs> um, only take what resonates with you leave the rest behind these are general readings, so a lot of different energy does come through. Some of these things may resonate, some may not, okay? Death card, what is this all about here? What is this death card? Something having to end so something can begin. Whoa. 
tower lovers. Yeah, wow. So someone here connected to someone else is what I'm feeling. Um, and that situation needing to end, okay? Um, could be their situation, could be your situation, okay? Um, this is like clear as a bell here <laughs> with the lovers in the tower. So yeah this could be where you're connected to someone else or they're connected to someone else and that situation really needing to end so they know this they're feeling this in their heart here six of pentacles what's this six of pentacles yeah see they're excited they want to they so want to reciprocate i just heard so want to okay they so want to reciprocate energy to you they're super excited about you here this person really wanting to move forward here with you. Um, there definitely could be some other energy um, involved here though. And feeling like it's a lover here for sure. Someone like a relationship, a marriage, something like that. Ace of Swords. What's this Ace of Swords? Ten of Wands. Yeah. Oh, okay. So clarity about the ending. Okay. So clarity about how to get there is what I'm feeling. So there's dropping the burden clarity about dropping the burden so what i'm feeling here is that this person might this they might have some sort of a realization right that maybe your situation if you're in this situation maybe it's your situation is ending maybe they see something that you know gives them that clarity that you are moving on from this situation or vice versa, okay? You could be seeing something that's showing you that they are moving on from this situation. They have, you know, packed their bags and out the door they go kind of thing, okay? You or them here, but they're definitely feeling clear. If this is them making that decision to move on from a burden, uh, burdensome relationship or marriage or something like that, they're very clear on that. They're feeling very clear. They've gotten some sort of an epiphany or realization about the current situation. And they're wanting to move forward. They're wanting a new beginning. They're wanting to reciprocate energy toward you. Put work into this connection here and tell you something here. Again, this might only be for some of you, but tell you something you may not have known before was what I had here. Okay. So tell you something you may not have known before. Something that was beneath the surface could have been feelings or emotions or it could have been just something else a situation something about the situation possibly okay something that you didn't know before what do we have here watch and listen carefully yeah so yeah see so they're paying attention is what i feel they're paying attention to you if you're going through this situation they are keeping an eye on it right they're kind of trying to see where you're at is what i'm feeling here um yeah, and even if this is them going through this situation, I, I still feel like they're still kind of paying close attention to you. Um, they're really trying to make sure that you're still good, you're okay. Um, maybe trying to see if you've moved on from the connection, if this is them going through this. What else for crystal number three? Because you bring this person pleasure, you make them happy. Um, they're wanting to put work, they're wanting to reciprocate. But there could be, again, this could be them going through this and it's kind of stopping them from coming forward at this time or something like that. We have patience and intuition. Aha, uh -huh, see, yeah. Yeah, so they feel here, they're hoping that you'll remain patient here. They're feeling that you have been patient as well. And they feel like you have a deep inner knowing about them and this situation, okay, is what I'm getting there. So something, I feel like that's for some of you. You have a, d if this is them going through this, for those of you that this is the person going through this, you have some sort of an intuition here that they are working on this, releasing this burden, okay, is what I'm getting there, the intuition card. They feel like you're, ooh, they feel like you're very intuitive and that you know something here um, and that you've been extremely patient with them in this situation, whatever this may be here, okay, um, Again, if let's say this is you in this situation, they still see that you've been patient. Maybe they've been, you know, like 
asking about it or something like that and you've been like really patient with them and not like biting their head off about it like you know you've been giving them some information about it but trying to kind of move beneath the surface here okay if this is you I mean going through this but this person may have you know like asked questions or something like that and they feel like you've still remained patient with them like maybe they were showing a little bit of signs of impatience but you still remained patient in answering those questions I feel like that's another super specific message for someone here um, so that might just be some of you that is to you going through this here. But for some of you, I also feel like this could be reversed. This could be them having to go through this situation and them getting clarity on it and moving forward. And then opening up the lines here where they're able to reciprocate. Whoa, sexual union. Yeah, see, they're really wanting to come together physically as well. Um, feel like there's a lot of daydreaming going on here in this person. They're really feeling a lot of sexual energy here toward you. Um, honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul. For there you will find true bliss, okay? Bliss, pleasure. Absolutely um, feeling that when they think about you here. What else does this person feel for crystal number three? They are detoxifying and being real. Okay, so they're trying to, I feel here with detoxify, they, they try to go into a quiet place. They try to quiet their thoughts down. Okay, this could be why they reach this moment of clarity and be real. They're really looking, they want this to, what I'm feeling here is they want this in the physical, like they want to physically be in this situation. So yeah, for some of you, I'm definitely feeling like you connect energetically could be a soul connection here. Um, you could be connecting uh, energetically here and they kind of like feel your presence with them, but they want like, they want to be able to touch you. Like, you know what I mean? Like you grab onto you, give you a hug kind of thing. They want it for real, like right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they want to move forward towards it right now. And again, if this is their situation holding them back, I feel like this will make them want to move even faster. You know what I mean? Like it's going to like spark that motivation in them. What else for crystal number three? What does this person feel? How do they feel, please? Crystal number three's person. How do they feel? Wow. Beyond the ordinary. Yeah. Deep soul connection. For sure. This is one of the main twin flame vibes in this. Uh, I get twin flame vibes from this card um, because twin flame connections are beyond the ordinary. They're like literally indescribable. Um, so, yeah, I, and feeling like that again, connecting energetically. One eternal soul. Yeah, this could be a twin flame connection that you're um, with here or involved in, this person on your mind. Of course, only you will know that, right? You will have that deep inner knowing if it is. But there are a few cards here kind of suggesting it could be. I was feeling um, energetic connection here. Then we had eternal soul and now beyond the ordinary Mm, the lover's card is, you know, a deep soul connection, but this is, this is not about that really in this reading. This is about leaving a partner, marriage, something like that in the past, something like that having to end in order to bring this connection into the physical here. What else? Courage, yeah. They're feeling, again, if this is them having to end this situation, the love that they're feeling for you is giving them the courage they need to take those steps, okay? And like take these steps right toward the future instead of remaining in the past. They've, they've gained some sort of clarity and it, you know, it really does um, give them that motivation here. Feeling that love and that pleasure from you. What else? How else do they feel? Letting go. Yeah. Okay. So 
yeah they could definitely be the one here letting go of something in their past and I also just got another message that they're kind of fearing that you might be letting go of them hmm, okay so there might be a little bit of fear residing in this person's mind about the connection as well you might be moving on from this or they think you're moving on from this this could be what I was picking up here. They're still watching. Even if this is them going through it, they're still paying attention. They could maybe see something that makes them think that you're letting go of them. Or, you know, it could be just their perception. Or you could physically be moving on from them. Um, but they are fearing you letting go here. How else does this person feel? But they're also thinking about this situation. If this is them here, they're thinking about this whole situation having to resolve. They're having to let that go. They're having to move past it. A change in the wind, yeah. They're wanting this change to come in, okay? Again, wanting to feel it in the physical with the, the Be Real card. They're wanting to feel this change happening, okay? They're not just wanting to feel it energetically. They're wanting to feel it physically coming into their life here what else for crystal number three how does this person feel that one came out super quick ah. kindness yeah so very kind individual wanting to do kind things for you is what i'm feeling really wanting to provide and do things for you um just show you general kindness you know they really want to um make you feel good that you make them feel good so they're wanting to give that back to you in return okay we have two i was going to get two anyway but spirit gave them to me straight away love who you are so yeah and demonstrate love okay so they love who you are this person really looks up to who you are as a person um, they want to demonstrate their love to you. They want to show you how they feel. They really want to come forward and show that reciprocation and show you how they feel here. Beautiful. What else? For crystal number three, how does this person feel? We have a win-win outcome is forecast. So they, they see that this is going to be victorious, okay? They feel like you're their person, okay? They know that this is a win-win either way. They know that there's stuff to work through. Um, but they, I still feel like once this death and rebirth happens, they feel like this is going to be victorious. How else do they feel, please, for crystal number three? How else does this person feel for crystal number three, please? We have not today and soulmates okay so this isn't happening right away and they know it there's something big here that has to end okay so they realize that um you know this and this says here avoiding a conversation this could be a situation where one of the people involved keeps avoiding the situation not wanting to resolve it and i have soulmates upside down there but soulmates it's soul connection here they're feeling that deep soul connection um i was feeling it as well so they're definitely feeling that strong bond with you crystal number three how does this person feel what we have here we have soulmate again okay can i get one more <laughs> we have soulmate again so they're definitely feeling that deep soul bond again all right what else express your love yeah wanting to express i told you they definitely want to tell you there's something here too that they want to say okay so expect something that you don't know to come out here um, I don't feel like it's something bad. I feel like it's something good. I feel like it's feelings. It's, it's something to do with feelings or emotions, like maybe even just the depth of them, you know? Yeah, death card again. Yep, they know this ending has to happen. They feel this very deeply. They know, okay? So if this is them, just know that this person knows that this has to come to an end here. All right, let's get more. How does crystal number three's person feel? How do they feel, please? Leaving partner. There it is, right? Bingo. Leaving partner. 
so yep there they definitely know uh, I felt I was feeling that right away here so there's definitely I feel with this situation a third party involvement here um, some sort of partner ghosting so you could be ghosting this person right now this could be why they think you're moving on and this might just be for some of you of course um, always keep that in mind these are general readings lots of different energy comes through what else true love yeah wow see i told you they feel very deeply they really want this connection to move forward they're excited about reciprocating as well so this could be like i said if this is a situation that you were in a situation and you had to kind of hold back your energy so you couldn't really give them, you know, the attention and stuff. They can't wait to be able to um, do that here is what I'm feeling. They can't wait to be able to have it go back and forth because it makes them so happy. Wow. Yeah, wow. Twin Flames. So, yep, Twin Flame card came out again here. Well, Beyond the Ordinary gives me Twin Flame vibes, but now Twin Flames did come out. So this could be your Twin Flame, um, you know, coming back in after balancing energy out and really healing themselves and choosing themselves here this could be a situation they were stuck in for a long time and they weren't choosing themselves they were choosing to remain um or you this could be you as well always keep that in mind but now choosing yourself doing the self-loving thing here okay and choosing yourself wow look at this finality yeah see choosing someone here choosing themselves okay a situation that they knew wasn't good for them here is what i'm feeling had to end in order for this new beginning to happen and now it's coming to a finality here okay um it's finally coming to a close is what i'm feeling here knowing it needed to end like you have to choose what's right for your own heart here sometimes it's not always the best uh thing for everyone involved but look at this new beginning are you kidding yep um sometimes the other of course the other person isn't going to really like it right but if it's what makes your heart happy then that's what you need to choose you know we can't we can't always go through life worrying about other people's feelings we have to choose what's right for our own heart and soul right new beginning so i definitely feel like there's definitely a new beginning on the way here in this situation they're really wanting this for sure um like i said really wanting to be able for it to go back and forth and then there's the ace of swords that clarity bringing that new beginning that clarity could be look at this that clarity could be um this kind of threw off my i forgot what it was the clarity could be realizing that you know this isn't right for me and it does have to end right and then that opens up the gates for a new beginning because once you choose yourself and release old um patterns relationship patterns or old connections that no longer serve you it opens up the door for more right and then we have this card here and i said look at this because i miss us and feeling like i'm home okay card number 33 master number 33 um, this is another card of, you know, a twin flame connection. You feel like you're at home with them. So this person really feeling like you're their twin flame here. Again, only you and this person would know that. Deep inside here. Let's see what else this person would like to say here. What else would this person like to say? Two crystal number three. You bring me, yeah, wow. You bring me peace and happiness. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful energy. You bring this person a lot of, again, peace, happiness, pleasure. I felt like even when they think of you here, which that was kind of an indicator. You might not be with this person right from the beginning here, okay? Was this card here that came out. Look at this. I can't stay away from you much longer. Mm, see, it's happening. They want to come in. They want this now. They want this over and done with. They want to move forward. They want to be able to reciprocate. I just seen 2222 on the timer. There's this, yeah. Please don't give up on our love. See, they did fear you letting them go here. Okay, they do fear that. They're hoping you don't give up on your love here, that you feel for them. Let's get a few more. We're going to get this card out now. More message cards. What would this person want to say to crystal number three, please? You are such a beautiful soul. 
Yeah, they see you at a deeper level here than they've ever seen anyone else here. They really connect. This is a deep soul love here. Deep soul love. Wow, I'll never let you go. Aw. They'll never let you go. They always want you uh, by their side here. Beautiful. I'm trying to do everything right because I'm so scared to mess this up with you. Yeah, they really want to be ready. They really want to be able to say, I'm clear. I've released these burdens. I'm past it. If this is them, of course, right? Um, I'm past it. I'm ready. Okay, they don't want to mess this up with you. They're afraid to lose you here. What else for crystal number three? How does this person feel? I want to live my truth with you. Wow. Okay. Yeah. They want to live their truth with you. You are the truth to this person. Okay. This person really feeling like you are their person. Okay. Knowing there's something big here to end in one of your lives. They know this. Okay. Um, really wanting to say something to you here as well. A lot going on here, but... All right, crystal number three, I hope this reading was helpful for you. If it was, please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next reading.